What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So I hope this is working well. Just picked up the GoPro Hero 9. Um, I think it may be the creator edition, not fully sure, but just picked this up off uh, Facebook Marketplace for a pretty good deal. Um, right now I'm recording in 4K30. Reason why I bought the GoPro Hero 9 was primarily for the fact that the GoPro Hero 10 and 11 are essentially the same exact thing with very minor um, software things, but also the bundle that I got came with a bunch of stuff, case, the microphone attached, um, so many batteries, got like three batteries, extra SD, bunch of random cool stuff so great deal on facebook marketplace yeah i'm gonna be using this camera trying to vlog do videos i really do like the gopro model i've always liked gopro and yeah we'll just see how everything kind of goes with it so i'm gonna be doing a drive um and i believe in my house i did pick up one of those body mounts so if i ever do go anywhere i will be at like using that just to kind of see how it goes um, but yeah, very happy that I purchased this really cool camera and yeah, I guess we'll just do a little test, try to see the camera itself, what I like so far, what I don't. I really do love the display right now because in the past with my, I think the last GoPro that I had was the GoPro Hero 5 and with that one, I wasn't even able to see myself while I was recording, which is a really annoying feature. But I love that now there's a display that is right there, so I'm able to constantly see myself if I'm recording. I just think that's such a really good feature to have just for something like this. Honestly, with any camera, I feel like you should be able to see a display. It is a little bit laggy, but you're able to see, honestly, a pretty good field of view of what is actually being recorded, which I love that. So thank you, GoPro. Um, and hopefully this mic works well. I don't really know if it's gonna be great, I hope it is, but again, we're just gonna get back into the video. Gonna drive back home, and yeah. Alrighty, so I'm gonna start driving now. Again, um, I don't have like a actual car mount, so it's kind of like a MacGyver kind of thing right now, so I apologize if the camera does sway or do anything like that. I'm sorry, but again, I wanted to just do kind of first, first glance test of the GoPro, and yeah. What I really love about GoPro, and I've always loved this, is just how wide the angle, like what you can get. I have such a problem with cameras and the fact that you have to spend, the fact that you have to spend so much money to literally get a wide angle lens is ridiculous. And I just love that GoPro comes with that. And I'm already seeing, I'm already, I'm already noticing the super view, like how big of a range you get, which is insane. Um, I feel like it's been upgraded since the last time I, I used the GoPro. So again, I'm going from the GoPro Hero 5 to the GoPro Hero 9, which again, that sounds like a big jump just in my head, but pretty crazy. Um, yeah, I already like it so far. So. Prior to buying this, I did some research about the DJI Pocket, which I've made a video about, the DJI Pocket 2, um, you know, waiting for the DJI Pocket 3, which originally we thought was going to come in April, never came. There's the Osmo, um, you know, version of DJI, which again, I think is a little bit overpriced. You have the GoPro, and again, I always like to find the best deals possible, so I highly recommend Facebook Marketplace if you're ever looking to buy anything like that. People are always giving away stuff for a much cheaper price, so just let you know. Um, however, I was looking into GoPro, and I'm like, all right, there's GoPro Hero 10, there's an 11, but what is actually like the real difference between those models? And to be honest, after watching probably 10 reviews I want to say that's a good range I didn't notice anything different I noticed the same exact things it just the design was the same all that it was was very minor software things stabilization was exactly the same on this camera um, just the video quality was the same I mean nothing really changed like the batteries like they were the same so it didn't make sense to me to spend like two, three hundred dollars more for a GoPro 
and not to mention all the other accessories that I got with this too. I mean, originally on the listing they wanted 265. I knocked it down all the way to like 215, 220, which was incredible. I mean, for all the stuff that I got. So yeah, back to just the video quality right now. Um, obviously I'm not able to really hear the sound right now, but when I do get home, I'll check it out, see how it is, and then, um, you know, kind of think about it. Now I know you're able to get a external microphone that you can connect to this. I don't know if I'll do that. I mean, if it's a really, like, I don't see why I would be in, be in a condition where I would need to have an external microphone. Um, so yeah. Next, I wanna get into the reasons why I really bought this camera. Um, I personally, like I've mentioned this before, I love kind of the whole wide angle lens. I think it's just such a great look. Um, and I really enjoy filming videos on the GoPro. I feel like every video that I've made with a GoPro, I've enjoyed making that video way more than I've enjoyed using, you know, like a Canon EOS R, which is a camera that I have. Um, it's just much more enjoyable. It's always on the go. There's so many more accessories to a GoPro that are way cheaper and also like work really well. Like if I want to go hiking, if I want to go for a bike ride, if I want to use my uh, boosted scooter, I want to make a review video, if I want to go out to a flea market, if I want to, I don't know, just do anything, like do a vlog. It's so much easier to use these type of cameras. Now, I know a lot of people have some hate towards GoPro and I've like kind of listened to some of it and I think some is valid. I do think the company doesn't really listen to what people say, um, but I do think they're definitely the better company compared to other ones. Um, I mean, we waited so long for DJI to come out with a DJI Pocket 3. Still hasn't come out. They've been, you know, saying there's gonna be a one inch sensor. Never happened. Um, so it's almost like, you know, how much longer are we gonna wait? And plus I just know the price tag for that thing is gonna be over like 500. So it's just not worth it to me. DJI Pocket 2 is a great camera, but it's not, in my opinion, better than this right here for a bunch of different reasons. Yes, you do have the like the gimbal that is a part of the camera, but I don't think the camera itself is worthy or better than the GoPro itself. So that's just my opinion right there. Um, so yeah, currently I have it set to 4K 30 standard um, super view, which is nice. So really able to see all of this, you know, real estate, which is awesome. Um, I think that's just such a good feature to have on a camera. It bothers me so much when you have to manipulate a camera in order to see just the whole field of what you're trying to actually like capture. And especially when you're doing vlogging, it's, you don't always want to have everything like super focused on your face. Cause then it just, it deletes everything else that is like, part of the environment. So it's incredible that you're able to see this. And I even feel like with the wide view, you can still see a ton of stuff as well. Um, but I've always preferred doing the super view just cause of, you know, like this is probably less than, I want to say like a foot, foot and a half away from me. And this is what you're able to see entirely. So, I mean, it's incredible. Um, if anyone's asking, I'm driving a 2013 Infiniti M37X all-wheel drive. Bought this car probably over a month ago. Did a bunch of research, paid a really good price. Loving this car, super fast, luxurious. Had a few people ask me about it. So yeah, really enjoy this car. So I was thinking while I drive, maybe I could just do a video, like a POV of me driving. Um, and this can just be part of the review, so I'll flip it over.
guys, that's gonna do it for my review, or not review, my first test of the GoPro Hero 9. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments down below, feel free to reach out. Um, anything, you know, if it's about the camera, your thoughts about the camera, anything like that, feel free to comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, and stay tuned for more videos in the future when it comes to just the GoPro or really any content as well. I'm back in the mood with filming, so I'm gonna have videos uploaded. So thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.